Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about auto digitizing and knowing the difference between a good design and a not so good design. So we're going to start off. This is a cuttable like it's an EPS so an SVG a vector file from Apex Embroidery or Apex Cuttables. And I really, really liked it. So it's not a font, it's not anything to do with embroidery. However, we can use it as embroidery. Now, a lot of people think because you have a great image that you can just auto digitize. And I'm gonna show you the difference between auto digitizing and manually digitizing. And there is a big difference. So this is what we're starting off with. This is our graphic. So I wanna also point out that I am using Wilcom E4 for this demonstration. And I'm using E4 because, it, because it's one of the top embroidery software. It's powerful. It has all the details. So if you're going to do auto digitizing, this is the best one to try out. In my opinion, it's it's meant for high tech commercial everything. So it's got everything you want. It's got the power. So that's why I'm using E4 for this. This is top of the food chain. And if E4 can't do it, it probably can't be done. Eh, that's what I say. All right, so let's move to the first part. Now, I'm not going to show you how to auto digitize because, frankly, it's quite simple. It's over here and you just click on it. It's the same as anything. That's not what we're working on today. So the first one is an outline. So I just did an outline on it and that looks great. Um, I mean, that's fine. Little jump in there. That's kind of strange, but it kind of went around it properly. But if you look, it's kind of the stitches are a little bit smaller in the corners. They're all different sizes. I don't like that. And I'm not 100% sure how it's going to stitch out. Now in Hatch and different software, you can take this outline and you can just convert it to satin stitches. Hey, that looks great, right? That looks pretty good. It's, it's nice and the shape is nice. It just isn't because if you look here, these are not going to stitch out and there's a couple spots where it will not stitch out and that's one that's the first giveaway that's one giveaway and the first one weird angles for satin stitches because i think that looks terrible i think this looks terrible um that right here let me zoom in if you look those are long satin stitches and ideally you want to have the angle so it turns with it. So to me, this is kind of crappy. The outline, maybe, I don't really know what you would use it for. Maybe that would be okay, but I'm saying no to this one. No, no way. And these are things you can watch for if you're purchasing designs and you see angles that aren't good. It really is not going to stitch out very nicely. Now I know you can change the angles on it, but it doesn't make it any better. It's going to be longer and crappy. And frankly, if you're buying something or doing something, put the most effort into it and make it look beautiful. To me, this just looks like crappy and uh, people should stop buying auto digitized designs. I think they're risky personally because the the underlay on this is absolutely incredible. It, t it takes almost as long to do the underlay as the rest of the satin stitches. I was like, wow, okay. Um, the other thing is there's no connections when you auto digitize. So there could be layers upon layers. There also could be a ton of jump stitches or a ton of trims. So those are things to watch out for too. And density is usually an issue. So let's go on to the next tool. Now this one, I auto digitized it in satin stitches and you may think this looks okay but there's quite a few things on it now again I said e4 is really good at auto digitizing but auto digitizing is still not the same as manual digitizing now there's a couple of things that I don't like what's this right here what's this it's kind of over weirdly and it looks 
a little bit strange, I think. I don't think that's how letters are supposed to be. And again, you can fiddle around with it, but I don't like that. And if you notice, they're all over the place and it makes it look wrong because this part is over that part and this part is under. And I don't think it looks very nice. I'm not sure what happened here, but this is an absolute mess. So is this one. Wow. So, you know, this may be okay. Ooh, up here is bad too. Um, and angles are funny here. This side's nice, but this side isn't for whatever reason. And also there's the connections and the turn things here. And here, this isn't turning in properly. So no, no, it's angles, it's satin stitches again. I don't think this would stitch out very nicely. I think you'd have density issues right here on all these joins. And I think you would have a lot of trim stitches too. It's uh, not too bad, but I, I don't I don't like it. Way too much underlay again as well. So don't buy designs that look like this and don't stitch out designs that look like this. So that's try number two. I tried another tool to see if I could get it to work better and it's not any better. I don't know what happened up here again. This is terrible right here. The other one wasn't as bad. You can see the angles are wrong here. They're not turning. Um, this one is a little bit more, so this one's better, but it also has a point down, and I don't like that at all, and it's covering up the B. And again, we have these nasty joints here. So no for this one as well. Um, the, sat the satin stitch split and these ones turn a little bit better. So that's all right. Look at the angles on this part. That is really strange why it would angle in and then angle the other way. I just don't like it and I just don't think I would ever stitch this out. So again, satin stitches, density and angles and turning satin. No, no, no. So let's try another one. Now this one ended up pretty good. It's all big pieces and it's fill stitch in it. My only problem with it is that anybody can do this. It was one, two, three, four clicks. And it's okay, but it's not what fill stitches are supposed to be. You're supposed to make this a lot more elaborate and pretty, but I mean, if you're okay with this, then I guess it's fine. Personally, I like to make it much better. I like to put forth my best embroidery. So those are all the four tools for auto digitizing. And this one is probably the best, but it certainly isn't proper. There's no turning stitches. All the stitches are going one way. This kind of looks terrible. It, it would be you can improve a lot on this. So flat stitches for lettering, that is a huge no-no in my book. That is a bad thing. That's um, doing something fast and careless, I guess. I don't know if careless is the right word. It's not cool. How about that? It's not cool. So let's look at a properly digitized design. So remember the, the other ones, we'll flip through them just quickly. We got weird things going on on this one. We got weird things going on on this one. And this is just terrible. So we've gone through them, one, two, three, four. Now let's look at the good one. So this was hand digitized by Dawn and I think it looks way better. Now in here, these are uh, split satin stitches and it'll stitch out much better. But look how the S is over the swirlies. That is excellent. These two are over and this is the perfect shape. And Dawn liked the B on you know, on top of this part. You could move it up a little bit if you wanted. Um, I think it is two parts, but that is up to your interpretation. Um, now, the best thing about this are the connections. So this S, no trims, 
it's going to go down here underneath this gold over here and you can kind of see you can kind of see it a little bit it's only one stitch so you wouldn't notice it and starts up here on the s so no no trims no breakage no nothing it has the right amount of underlay and it's perfect and the whole b is in one as well you can see the b connects to the bottom bar so this whole design is extremely well con connected and i think it looks way better than the other one so you should be able to tell the difference between manual or hand digitizing the time and effort it takes to make this look so good and so perfect is a lot different from these ones now you can see that this is okay but it certainly doesn't look anything like this does it this is much better this i would be proud to stitch out this I would not bother yes it fits the shape and everything but again fill stitches or tatami stitches are not for lettering in my opinion um it just takes away from it so let's watch this guy stitch out i'll speed it up so you guys can see the amazing connections that don made and the underlay and the whole thing so nice turning angles and this is the underneath piece so we started with that and I'll speed it up a little bit more and it's going to do the whole entire S in one shot there's no stops there's no jump stitches a little bit of split satin but I think that'll look fantastic and now see isn't that great and now we're going to move on the corners are perfect actually the angles are really nice and look that is the connection i was talking about that also is a huge difference in digitizing you can tell a really good digitizer when they connect things like this you need to eliminate the most jump stitches and trims that you can equal they're just as bad and i don't like them obviously you're going to have some trims but you know the least amount possible now again that is lovely and connected he did the under parts first and then the part that's over second and then the b that's over that and it's just overlapping a little bit and you're not going to have any density problems with it and the b is made properly and it looks fantastic with no trims in it nothing and it ends right there but isn't that amazing? I, I really think it's amazing. And so you guys should be able to tell the difference between this and between this. This is what you want. This is what you want to create. This is also what you want to purchase. If you are spending your money on designs that look like this, or have wonky stitches and no connections and lots of trims and way too much underlay and way too much density look at that one compared to this one what a difference what a difference so make sure you look at the design and make sure it's a stitch out does stitched out design um, because everything looks different on the computer but make sure you do that before you purchase and before you stitch i'm going to encourage everyone to check and have a look at it before you stitch because this should catch your attention immediately this the wrong angle and how it is i would be concerned that it would be too dense now this one is going to stitch out perfectly awesome so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys learned a little bit about auto digitizing and learned what you need to look for in designs and how you need to create designs that look really good way better than auto digitized designs make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video to let me know that you want more videos just like this thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye